So I was going through your resume. So you have two point two years of experience in Angular, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. And which version you're working with Angular right now? Ten. Uh, actually, in my project, I am using Angular eleven, but uh, uh, I used to practice uh, like the new changes also. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the uh, standard alone com component in Angular fourteen, the signals in Angular sixteen. Okay. Uh, like I, I keep on exploring things. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, so, okay. So before start with the interview, so do you have any questions? I would like to ask in the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, then yes. I can start then. Yes. Okay, so we'll go through first Angular and if we get some more time, so I can have some question related to JavaScript as well. Okay. Sir. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So, okay. So have you heard about pure pipes and impure pipes? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, like in Angular, we have a uh, uh, pipes to transform the data. Mm -hmm. uh, so, pure pipes are the uh, like some uh, default pipes, which which like uh, in the impure pipe for every input the uh, 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 like it 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 reloads, but the for the pure pure pipes it only uh, reload when we get this uh, it, it will get the specific input to uh, that by a pipe so okay so uh, do you know any uh, example of uh, impure pipes uh, example mm -hmm. like for example we have a, a, a like a search pipe uh, where for impure pipe, it will uh, like uh, look for the uh, uh, whatever we will write there. Uh, uh, it, it, it will reload and uh, search for thing. Uh, like for example, we have a component uh, where we can add add something into it. So uh, if, if, if we search something and then we add it in the uh, pure pipe, it will not reload. But in the impure pipe, it will uh, reload the whole thing. And uh, we will able to get to uh, see that thing also, which we added after uh, searching in that pipe. Okay, so... So it will reload the data. In pure pipe, it will reload the data at uh, like the real time. But uh, in the pure pipe, it will reload like... Uh, after after doing like uh, if we added the component and then we again search then it will show us okay so which one is the better to use uh, uh, uh first of all it's uh, about our preference but for uh, for optimization purpose the pure pipes are better you uh, to use like uh, uh, they will not uh, do the uh, callbacks that frequently and uh, and doesn't reload that much like the impure pipe okay yeah. so have you heard about async pipe uh yes yes so is it uh, impure uh async pipe mm -hmm. async pipe uh, that must be impure impure uh i like i'm not very sure but it yeah, should it be is impure. impure so this is what yeah. example i was asking so this is impure pipe Okay, and uh, why we use async pipe? Do you know any features of it? Uh, one feature that I know, uh, we we can uh, like sub subscribe and unsubscribe the observables in the uh, HTML template itself, uh, rather than like subscribing in that uh, TS file and unsub uh, unsubscribing there. We can directly uh, subscribe and un unsubscribe them into the template. Any any other advantage of it? uh uh it uh, it will uh, like if if we are having it in the uh, uh, com component file there it will perform the whole operation then the uh, with the data binding the data will come to stm template uh, so that can have a delay so for the optimization purpose so, uh, we can use it in the directly into the like the template file Okay. Okay. So, uh, what is standalone components? 
uh like the uh, stand alone components are the uh, independent components where we can uh, give the uh, uh, the all the modules and the dependencies in the uh, component uh, uh, itself rather than the uh, uh, rather than like uh, collection of components and there we are uh, giving them the uh, yeah, giving them like the uh, mod modules imports uh, uh, declaration. So uh, uh, we we have a standalone component where give, where we give the dependencies it, uh, 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 to that component. Uh, so we can use it other comp uh, in other component independently. Okay. Yeah. To uh, to be more clear, like if yeah. if uh, we have a uh, in a folder we have four or five components and uh, whenever we will visit there the whole module will reload for uh, like uh, every routing. But if we have a standalone components, it will reload only those modules which which we just included in that component. Modules or components. Uh, like uh, in that components, whatever the external uh, imports, all those things, mm -hmm. only that 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 will like. Okay, and what uh, is the command to create a standalone component? Uh, uh, it's uh, ng generate component uh, component name, and uh, with that we have uh, 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 like the what we call it two dashes and standalone. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, hyphen, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Earlier, we are using app model to bootstrap our application. Correct. So, yeah, with the standalone, yes, how the bootstrap happens? Uh, that is like not very clear to me. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the main.js file? Main.ts file, by chance? Yes, yes, yes. Open yeah, yeah, there are, we do it. No, not the Angular 16. Okay. Okay, check that file once because there is uh, the bootstrap now. So from there only we bootstrap our application. Application uh, that I know, up. like we bootstrap the application, but uh, thus from standalone point of view that I. So from there only we do bootstrap components. Okay. Yes, because standalone also needs to bootstrap, correct? Your app component should yes. be bootstrapped from somewhere because when your index.html yeah. will hit, so it should be having a component which can load at the DOM, at the first initial level, correct? So in that yes. case, that we pass as a root bootstrap, bootstrap component over there and this will be as a initial load for us. Okay, so have you heard about app initializer? App initializer, no, no. Okay, so read about this as well because it's kind of the one of the important thing in the Angular. Before your app loading, if you want to do something, then we have to put something in the app initializer. Okay. Okay. So uh, okay. So another question related to standalone components. So see, we don't have modules now. So how our components be routed? Okay. means earlier we use to give the path and component correct in the eager loading then yes, in the modules we do pass as a load module correct yes yes so how we do for a standalone no i don't know about this there is a method load component okay okay read about this little bit okay yeah yeah okay 